Ooh. It's my favorite game ever. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is probably my favorite game ever. Let's see if it'll stand up. Mm -hmm. Too tall? No, not tall enough. Alright, there we go. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, that should be good. Alright, so, favorite game ever. We're gonna play it. And hopefully it won't mess up. And as you can see, this is a very, very serious game. Like, where serious, serious things happen. No. No, this isn't a serious game. This is a wonderful game. I love this game. It's a fun game. Hey, Spike, did the professor finish the time station yet? Are we going to get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going first. That's not fair. Over here, watch out. Spike, the time station. No, no, run you two. This has like the best voice acting from like the late 2000s, early 90s, man. <sighs> My favorite part is how like Spike, our protagonist, Spike and your kid, sounds like he's probably 30. Or at least not in his... He's not 12. He doesn't sound like he's 12. I really, really like the villain's voice, though. It works. It actually works. Dun, dun, dun. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Dun, dun, dun. Now we actually get to play in a minute after another episode. Spike, can you hear me? You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The Stun Club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with the Time Net. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our hmm. fate is in your hands. Eight puns. <laughs> we're depending on you. Be careful. And that's our computer, I think. Oh yeah, you just gotta catch however many monkeys it says you gotta catch. And any more fun stuff happens. You can... oh, did I ask you, mailbox? But you can hit the mailbox and actually ask it for advice and stuff. And like the idea is to actually sneak up on him, but <laughs> effort. Woo! And um, if you twirl when you like jump some places, you will um gently fall down, kind of like a ballerina, instead of plummeting to your untimely death. And I say that, but you'll just like splat. 
looks really painful. But yay! And there was one on the cliff, but you can't get that until, like, after you get a thingy to let you fly, kind of. That's fun. It's one of my favorite thingies. I did great. And that's a time station! Like, you got mini games here that you can unlock with the giant yellow hideous coins that I grabbed one of. Ask you at all. Then you've got like a little training area so you can learn how to use the stuff that you got. As you can see, we have no stuff yet. The things that we have don't count because they're defaults. And then we have like. Stop telling me what to do! We have like where you can check on information on the apes they catch. And you can save or load your game. But I never save or load my game because I'm terrible and make bad decisions. And that's the level select! Yay!